Once upon a time in the colorful town of Toyland, a joyful community of toys lived together, each with their own unique abilities and roles. Among them was a group of toy construction vehicles, Benny the Bulldozer, Charlie the Crane, and Max the Excavator. They were known throughout Toyland for their incredible teamwork and bravery. Today, however, would put their skills to the ultimate test. In the heart of Toyland, a commotion could be heard. The townsfolk were in a state of panic as a mighty dragon named Draco had descended upon their peaceful town. With flames dancing from his nostrils and a menacing roar, Draco was causing chaos and destruction wherever he went. Buildings crumbled, streets turned to ash, and the once cheerful town was now a smoky battlefield. Amidst the chaos, the beloved Peppa Pig, the town's fearless leader and a cherished member of the community, was trapped in a crumbling toy store. Her friends had gathered nearby, but the flames and debris made it impossible for anyone to reach her. The townspeople were in desperate need of heroes, and they knew just where to find them. Benny, Charlie, and Max were resting in their garage when they received the urgent call for help. They wasted no time revving their engines and rolling out of their garage. Their tires screeched as they sped towards the center of Toyland. Their sturdy metal frames glistened in the sunlight, determination etched into their painted faces. As they approached the scene, the trio could see the devastation caused by Draco. Buildings lay in ruins, and the streets were engulfed in flames. The townspeople huddled together, seeking safety in the few remaining unscathed areas. Look, it's the construction crew, cried a stuffed bunny named Lulu, who had been leading the evacuation efforts. With their arrival, hope began to stir in the hearts of the toys. Benny, Charlie, and Max parked themselves strategically, surveying the wreckage and formulating a plan. Their teamwork had always been their greatest strength, and this time would be no different. Benny the Bulldozer was the first to make his move. With his powerful blade, he began clearing debris from the path leading to the toy store where Peppa Pig was trapped. His engine roared as he pushed aside beams, bricks, and rubble, making way for the others to follow. Charlie the Crane extended his long arm and reached out towards the toy store's damaged roof. Carefully, he began lifting away the heavy pieces of debris that were pinning Peppa inside. His precise movements and steady grip ensured that none of the remaining structure would collapse on her. Max the Excavator scooped up buckets of sand and dirt, using them to smother the flames that threatened to consume the store. With his articulated arm, he doused the fire, extinguishing it bit by bit. As Benny, Charlie, and Max worked tirelessly to clear the path and rescue Peppa, the townspeople cheered them on. They watched in awe as their heroes displayed incredible coordination and skill. Each member of the construction crew knew their role and executed it flawlessly, showing that teamwork could overcome even the most formidable challenges. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Charlie carefully lifted the last piece of debris that had been trapping Peppa. She emerged from the wreckage, covered in soot but unharmed. The townspeople erupted into cheers and applause as Peppa waved and thanked her rescuers. The construction crew had saved the day, but there was still one more task to complete. Draco the dragon was still wreaking havoc on Toyland, and he needed to be stopped. With Peppa safely rescued, the construction crew turned their attention to the menacing beast. Benny revved his engine, ready to charge at Draco head-on, while Charlie extended his crane arm to keep the dragon's attention focused on him. Max dug into the ground, preparing to use his excavator bucket to create a pit to trap Draco. 
The battle was intense. Draco roared and belched fire, but the construction crew remained steadfast. Then he charged, knocking the dragon off balance, while Charlie used his crane arm to tangle up Draco's wings. Max dug the pit, and with a final push from Benny, they managed to topple the dragon into the hole. The townspeople quickly gathered stones and rocks, piling them into the pit until Draco was completely buried and could no longer pose a threat. Toyland was saved, thanks to the incredible bravery and teamwork of the toy construction crew. The townspeople celebrated their heroes with a grand parade through Toyland, with Peppa Pig leading the way. The construction crew's fame spread far and wide, and they became legends in Toyland for generations to come. And so, the brave toy construction crew lived on, their bonds stronger than ever, ready to face whatever adventures lay ahead in their colorful and vibrant world.